next is um, 64 Cross Street, um, formerly Cat Baker Key. Uh, Napoli is uh, seeking zoning relief. For Taco, use associated with the plan of Washington Bakery, uh, 64 Cross Street. Occupancy is planned for 25 seats. Outdoor seating um, is uh, going to uh, be similar to that of Cafe Graffiti, correct? It's actually going to be less. Less. Mm -hmm. you know, Good evening, Karen Sumeo, uh, Dora Koki, and Noah Lupin. I have with you uh, Lee Napoli, uh, members of the council. Pleasure to be here. Um, as the president read into the record, um, this is the former Cafe Graffiti space. Um, that operation, as you may recall, previously had a liquor license. We are not seeking a liquor license for this location. That prior operation also had an indoor seating of about 40 seats. We're actually seeking to decrease that capacity to about 25 seats inside. We would like to maintain the outdoor patio with the same number of seats that currently exists, which is plus or minus 40 seats. And the concept is a fast, casual cafe bakery with takeout. So um, the one thing that sort of distinguishes it from many of the businesses in the North End um, is that it, it does offer a, a new perspective on some of these um, fast, casual food items. There's no Italian theme here. Um, the menu consists of soups and salads and sandwiches and things of that nature. Um, the hours of operation are proposed to be 7 a.m. to at the latest 10 p.m. Um, on the late side. And um, those of you who are not from the athlete, um, and to borrow uh, an analogy made earlier, she is the Tom Brady of the pastry world. I mean, uh, she is uh, has many accolades in this in this um, particular area, and um, she currently owns a business in the South End, and she's seeking to expand that business. This will not be a pastry shop. It is intended to be a fast casual cafe bakery, as I said, with takeout. There's no table service, but certainly the goal is. <coughs> to get out soups and salads and um, things of that nature to the residents and folks who work in the neighborhood. What the hours again, Karen? 7 a.m. to the late end would be 10 p.m. We're saying 9 or 10, so 10 would be the That's late seven days late for weekend around. hour changes? No weekend hour changes. What kind, what kind of main goods will we be we here? Um, most of my experience is in European pastries. Um, more towards French and Scandinavian, uh, not Italian. <laughs> but uh, I'm hearing soups and salads and sandwiches, but it's going to be a bakery. And chocolate shop. And chocolate shop. Mm -hmm. What I own right now is a small chocolate shop that has pastries on the weekends only. What's the name of your shop? Choco Lee Chocolates. Uh, I've been a pastry chef in Boston for 30 years, and I've had the chocolate shop for the past four. Um, so this will be um, an expansion of all those things that include um, soup, salads, and sandwiches. I'm, I'm familiar with right. you. Uh, for those. For yes, those everything is made in house. No, yeah. The, 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 the reason why I'm asking because it's a very large space. I'm sure you're using a lot of it to bake. Yes, yes. Um, actually, the back room that was the smaller dining room mm -hmm. will become a kitchen. No, a whole room. room. Uh, yes. That's part of where the decrease. It sounds like you're describing something both similar to flour in the south end, if you're familiar with that. Is that kind of... Uh, very familiar. Actually, Joe Wayne and I is a very good friend of mine. Um, somewhat similar concept, that's quick. correct. Okay. Yes, no table service. Right, right. Come in, make your purchase. Love to have you sit down and eat it and then go to work. I would like to actually say, I, I have a question. Well, I, I want to commend you for being 10, 10 p.m., seven days. No one usually does that when they come to an event. Does that mean 10 p.m. infinity? Uh, are we Nothing see is you in like infinity. Six, six months, but. Nothing's infinity. The business plan does not call for later than 10 o'clock, but that doesn't mean that a year from now, two years from now, five years from now, they don't Same come back and ask for it. 
Because you know that's not part of the concept right now, Stephen. But we can't no, sit that. here and tell you whatever the business needs I are. Understand that. I understand that. I've been around long enough to understand that. But you know, we were speaking collectively last meeting in our executive session and this one, and um, um, it's just aggravating to be honest with you. I'm not, I'm not speaking to you in general. It's just you know people sell us a bill of goods until 10 p.m. and then all of a sudden it's 12 p.m., 1 p.m., 1 a.m. and um, and, and I'm, I've been pretty loose. I'm, I, 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 I love I love these ideas, and I love these. I, I'd rather you be there than nothing. Mm -hmm. But um, that's why I, I think 10 p.m. I think it's great that, that you're off. Well, if 10 I can speak to the hours, um, I'm I sure I work at a restaurant as well. I like to get out of there as soon as I'm done. First of all, I'm going to be in there at 3 a.m., <laughs> so I'm pushing to close at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Um, and as far as getting into really late night hours, uh, the type of products that we're offering, I, I don't see the demand for them at that time of night, so um, I don't see the logic um, in really extending the hours any, any later. You could have been anybody, I'm just asking that. I question. understand that. No, I so understand. When, so when, you go, when we go to the licensing board, you're asking for 10 p.m.? Yes. Okay. Anyone else on the council have a question? Sure. You're going to have both sides, see? Yes. Will there be, uh, any, they're going to be page to There's going to be like uh, some kind of containers where they can throw their. Oh, of course. Plates, trash receptacles? Yes, of course. Because there's no table service, right? So you can see the side. Will you be used to the traditional paper? Uh, you know, like paper cups and that sort of thing? Or will you do it like what our families are doing today where they're doing for? Table service. So people who are bringing their food to the table, for example, Panera does it. They have china and cups and bowls. You serve the bowls with a cup with a plate, which is kind of made these days. And then the people that take the stuff with them take it in containers. It's not our plan. Our plan is to have paper products. Yes. Recycling. Yes. And the counter help uh, will police the outside area. Of course. And how many, how many seats? You said there would be less seats in the graffiti? Inside, graffiti had 40, and we're decreasing that to 25. But outside, we'd like to maintain the same number of seats, which is about 40. You're going to put up that um, kind of barrier. Yes. 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 You're going to put up the same one, or did they get rid of that and they trash that? that was, they own that? I think that you're getting your own to set it up with the yeah, leaves. There. So, I'm sure if you want to do this in the south end, it's going to look real cool, and you want to put up on the right? Okay. I don't have any seating in my little <laughs> shop right now. What's the official name of the business? Bread and butter. Oh, I like that. Bread and butter. Bread and plus butter. Bakery. Bread and butter bakery. Bread and butter bakery. Bread and cafe. And cafe. Uh, congratulations. That was definitely nice. Put the counter behind that brick wall that's next to the entrance. And nobody can see you. Do not as you are by no one was there. I don't know if there's any way that you can open that up. Or if you can put your country that are facing the windows, that way people see what you have in there. One of the things that happen with them, I think, is that nobody really knows what they're doing there. They look like a dining room, it's a cafe graffiti, so it's a coffee. So that 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 was confusing for them. And when citizens did the bill, they think they cheap there, they should expand the windows over. Uh, nevertheless, if you do, put something you don't want people to see behind those walls, put what you want people to see on the other side, it'll, you know, it'll really help your business, I think. Um, you know, you thank have to you so much there. for that. Yes, and we are actually looking into getting those bricks, opening that up. Yeah, that they bricked up a window, yeah, correct? That, that, will, that will make a big difference, I think, because you know, you're in the gateway, you're in the yes. walls of the village. If you don't have something that shows people to stay, people will walk right past you and go to the rest of the village. So if you want to be able to be, you know, I can't be that. Yes, very good advice. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Your signage. What's, what's the signage going to be? That has not been determined. Okay. It's, I, my, one of, uh, my understanding is a new neon sign, and I hope it's temporary that's on that cross street there. Um, I would like to have something an old world, very tasteful. But I'd like to see the signage as well. I can give you my email and I would email it to Stephen. Sure. We haven't crossed that bridge yet. All right. And I'm not like neon. 
<laughs> I mean, this is a no oil native right and I think the Oh, exactly, which is um, part of my great excitement to hopefully be part of it. Thank you. When would you open up? Well, our appeal Ideally. hearing is in December. We actually just got our appeal. Uh, you had mentioned the licensing board. There are two pieces here. One is the zoning board, which it's the same use that was there, but it was to that petitioner only, which was Cafe Graffiti, so we're seeking to change that. That hearing date just came in, which is December 11th. So you go to both? We go to both the zoning board and the licensing board. The licensing is not yet scheduled, because so we haven't filed yet with the community process. What's the date, December what? 11. We just got that this morning. Have you guys signed the lease with uh, citizens already, or you... Uh are you in the process of uh, We're in the process. Okay. Do you want to get any more approvals? You can get all yes. your kitchen in order and then sign them. They're kind of waiting on us for the mm -hmm. Anyone in the audience have any questions? Does anyone want to make a motion? Just I'll make a motion to support um, bread and butter cafe. Awesome. With the hours of seven to ten, five days a week, is that correct? Seven days. Seven days, seven days, a, week. Seven days a week. Does anyone second the motion? Anyone second motion? A second. Right, so there's a motion to support um, 64 Cross Street. Uh, they're seeking money relief. Really. Um, or takeout, 36A, correct? Yes. They will operate a bakery get a 64 Cross Street. It's a restaurant bakery with takeout. Bread and butter bakery and cafe, correct? Correct. All in favor? <coughs> Congratulations. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Seven. I think there's only eight of us here. That was most even. Seven of us. Seven. Thank you. Thank you. Thank the board for squeezing me in on the on the agenda. Um, I'm actually one of the building on 93 and Cut for the last 15 years, and uh, I'm looking to put a small private group deck on top. I do have um, a private patio and uh, a deck on the second and the third floor already. So only the top floor it doesn't have anything. So I'd like to. And I did um, met with my two neighbors on the side. One is um, Rob Colomino, and uh, he's actually a friend of mine too for the last 15 years. He works with my building. And also Jenny Russo on my right. She actually apologized for not being here because she's actually in oxygen, so she couldn't come. But they were both very supportive of me. Actually, even Bob said that his mother and him does not like his back, but because of the report I have with him all these years, he had no problem whatsoever. And <coughs> but um, I hired professionals to make sure I don't have everything the way it's supposed to, because I'm not um, um, good with learning about the permits and everything, so I hired the right people to do that update and help me a little bit with the... And he did the plans and... And I ask, I have a letter of the appeal and all that is asking to. Um, so you own the building? I do own the building. You have, this is a roof deck on top of the roof? Yes. Or is this? And my building actually is a little lower than my, my both neighbors. Okay. So my neighbors are both higher than my building, so it's not going to be. And when you say it's a roof deck, is it owner occupied, meaning that only the people on the top floor can access it? Only, only the people on the top floor. Yeah, it'll be private tech just on okay. the top floor. Just curious. Yeah. No, I know. I, and actually, in my building, it's a small building, so actually, it's not a uh, apartment with a lot of people. The first floor is only one person, the second floor is two, the third floor is just one, and the top floor is a couple. And I, um, of course, if I did get the permit, I will put on the list. If it's any, because I work actually with um, on Realty, and uh, I know that's a lot of problem with roof decks in the in the neighborhood, and I know how it is about hiding and everything. So I would include that on the list that, and especially if it's only for 
private, I don't think it'll be so because you know who to blame to. But we might run a lot of problems here, it's usually when they have problems with that. But I would actually put on my list if there's any problems with the neighbors or any complaints that I would close the, with that. Anyone on the council have questions? I'm just going to tell them to be quiet. Anyone have questions from the council? Where is that? Where is your building? Not between the Cox Street. Is that back between the Cox Street? Um, Schuster and Stuman. I'm going to go on the Stuman. The one with the red door. Yeah, I'm behind you. Uh, I own uh, a four-stone place. Okay, yeah, my actually my back uh, yard goes to that the parking lot. So the little parking lot? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. So you have the first deck coming out of the, is the first deck here? Yeah, it's front? actually, I have a, a backyard and then have a two decks, second and third floor. Can I have to see? So I have to deny a Okay, so you're sending everything you need and I have all that. Yeah, and I also have the, um, the plans that they did. Okay. Are these new? Yeah. The, the, the no, they're been there for two years. Did you describe just your neighborhood like notification process? Yes, what I did is I did, uh, did the letter, the neighborhood letter, and I, um, besides going, to, the ones next to me I went personally oh, so with them. But Nancy Caruso and everybody else I mailed to whoever had the address, and I went to each door and I put a little door in the letter <coughs> talking about the meeting here and what I'm looking for. Okay. So you've, only built, you've, been, you've been there for a little while now, right? Yeah, 15 years, more than 15 years. And I used to you know, be you, you, you know, I know you know all the names. Yes, I know the names personally, actually. Um, I do have a good report with the neighborhood because what happened when I bought the building, I had an old Italian couple that used to live there. And actually, I just passed away. It was, you know, but um, and I kept them there with very low rate. And all, all the neighbors to come to me and say, you know, they really appreciate what you're doing. And I, since I bought the building, my only um, thing is to improve. So whenever I make, I'm always trying to improve the, on the, the building. I'm always there, painting the door and cleaning and fixing. So my interest is only to make it better. Yes. Still keep the rental rates affordable? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a huge issue in this neighborhood. I know, I know. I work, I work with real estate, so I know what's up there. Does anyone else have any questions? Hey, yeah, Kubiak, can you replace? Are you modifying the headhouse at all? No, not at all. That if we have like just a little intense, that's going to continue the same. And if it's a door to go type, it's going to be the same size, no change at all. Okay. The other thing I was wondering is whether roof decks can be built by light at all if they're designed a certain way. Uh, you apparently did get a refusal letter on yes. your building permit yes. application. Yes. So it violates, it obviously violates the code, the zoning code. And I was just, I'm always wondering about this question whether it's possible to design a roof deck on a building that's lower than 55 feet, mm -hmm. which yours is. Yeah. Because on a building higher than 55 feet, I think you're going to violate zoning no matter what you do up there. Is it possible to design a roof deck that meets code, maybe given certain setback requirements or a certain size? Or what was the denial? The denial the 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 on, on rig, rig, rig uh, insufficient and roof structure and building height restrictions. Yeah, but it, it meets all of those, and we have stamped plans from an engineer and an architect. Yeah, they did ask for it. And it, it is actually to code. It's just the building department um, wants us to see you folks before they approve anything. Right. We're going to talk That's about That's basically the way it works. Because people ask me, too. They, they say, oh, am I going to need, a, uh, need to file an appeal? And I say, well, I'm not sure. Most group decks do violate zoning and an appeal is required, but not all of them. And actually, I did have a, somebody ask me too. They said, "Could you just do like a certain so wouldn't?" And I said uh, that I I was not sure about that. That's why I hired the, the right people. Yeah. But it's it's much lower than my two other uh, buildings next to me. And um, no windows. I, I, I no, no yeah, windows. I, I think that the violation comes in place because of the presence of the neighborhood has settled over 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 roof decks. I don't think that I think that structurally your building can carry the weight of the roof deck on your building. Uh, you know, unless you're at, like I said, if you have a building that's four to five feet in the ground, that would be, there might be a question whether or not that many buildings like that. But I think that the issue, again, is like as they bring up, uh, is an issue of they know that the neighborhood is uh, touchy about it. They want, they want everybody to go through a neighborhood process. Uh, so 
you know, get approval from the councils, I think. I even saw the hand-down shoe that it's private, so I didn't care how small it was going to be in the middle, not to be in other men. Yeah. It's going to be a short fence, so I'm going to be able to see. I'm just academically Yeah, no, I, I know. Yeah, you don't want to be able to Basically, the answer to your question is it is to code. It is to code. And it's, you know, it's 12 by 24 foot deck. Can I see the plane for the deck? And the stamp, I mean, we went through the process of this. And well, if you we know, have a move. It's a safety factor. We should be buildings on most roofs, anyways. So the deck itself could be the roof of the site. So I, I, a lot of it is, uh, like he says, going through the process. And the city does not have a, a friendly building code, nevertheless. I mean, the city can do and say whatever they want, whatever you apply for something. So it's not, they're not being, you know, they're probably not being as careful as you may be on, on, on an application. The CDS have a tendency, you know, the building department, over one month, they they'll, they'll take your plans and they'll bring them back to you as many times as possible to come over and see what else you can prove them. You no, know, for instance, the building at, uh, at 536 Commercial Street, right next to Copsville Terrace, yeah. and you guys reviewed and voted on that as well. The violation was with the headhouse changes that they were making. The yes. The bigger headhouse. Apparently, the deck that they had designed did not require zoning right. relief. So I'm just interested to know which ones require and which ones don't require, in part because people wanting to build decks actually ask me. Uh, and I, I don't want to have yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one, one of the one issues is, is you that's another meeting. Yeah, yeah, private yeah. units, you know, I, I own the three top floors in my building. Mm -hmm. and I have a head house, and I don't have a roof there. But actually, you know, so eventually, I'm going to have to put a railing around the, the building. Mm -hmm. you know? yes. And again, even if you have tenants that you have a piece of property, putting a railing on a, on a roof is not a bad idea when people are going to do crazy exactly. things on the roof today. So that, that, I think that, you know, the, 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 the nuisance of having crazy people buying on roofs is one thing. They have some places with common roof decks. But I think that when you're talking about private space or, or even access, Safety should come first. The railings, at least, you know. I mean, so railings not yet. I don't think it's a uh, issue first. I never had problem with my tenants, but like, like I said, the only three tenants. You know, first of all, was the old couple that lived there nine years ago. But I always had my door closed, and I put the sign, you know, for emergency as the only. Yeah, we So same. I never had problem with people going there and drinking or anything. Yeah. No, it depends on what you have for tenants. And there should be some responsibility yeah. of the landlords. Like I said, I would say great care of my tenants and they're great to be true, so I never have any problem with them. Does anyone anyone have any questions? <coughs> for Jose? Anyone anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to support the roof deck on 93 and the uh, There's a motion to support uh, 93 and the cost. Um, they're seeking zoning relief to construct a owner occupied, a private roof deck. It's owner occupied. No, it's it's a private roof deck. Private roof deck. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll second that. Motion and second. All in favor? Second there. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Commercial Street, Dan yeah. O'Connor. I'm assuming that's the protocol. Yep. Yeah. Seeking yeah. approval to the yeah. 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 transfer of the existing bear wine retail license. Yeah. Operated yeah. bottles, which is currently at 372 Commercial Street from the current owner, Marie Bellu. So if you want to just. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> so my name is Daniel O'Connor. I'm here uh, before you tonight because I my intentions are to purchase an existing um, small. Fine wine and craft beer shop located at 372 Commercial Street, which is uh, called Bottles right now. Um, the idea behind what is currently there, a fine wine shop and craft beer, is almost exactly what I intend to do with the uh, with my business there. Is to maintain a level of uh, selection there that would target an audience that uh, we don't see in the convenience stores in the neighborhood. Um, so to that point, I will choose not to sell items like uh, Coors Light and Budweiser, not to malign them with fans, but you know, maintain the, the craft beer selection. I don't plan on um, offering large magnums of very cheap wine or stacking boxes of very inexpensive wine. I plan on uh, maintaining what, they're, what they offer now, which is more fine wine to target 
an audience such as yourselves. Um, I don't plan on changing anything within uh, the physical store. Uh, inside will remain the same. Signage on the outside will remain the same. The hours will remain the same. I actually intend to uh, decrease them because on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, the shop is currently open until 10. I very rarely at 10 o'clock at night think that I need a bottle of wine. I think that just attracts, again, a, a customer that I'm not interested in attracting. So I think I might decrease those hours to 9 o'clock. Um, again, the signage won't change. Business hours remain the same. The interior layout will, will remain virtually the same. Um, the only major difference is that currently the wine shop uh, is being run by um, someone who is not the owner. And I plan on leaving my current position and becoming a full-time, be full-time employee there. Um, so it will be manned by myself for the majority of the opening hours. A little bit about me, I do live in the North End. I live on 186 Salem Street. Uh, I've been there for just shy of five years now, but a lot of you probably don't recognize me because I'm never in the neighborhood because I travel so much to my current position. And um, part of the reason why I'm pursuing this endeavor is that I want to be part of the community. I want to be in the neighborhood that I chose to live in. So um, I live in the neighborhood. I've been here, as I said, just shy of five years. I work currently in the wine industry um, for the past 12 years. I've been working in the fine wine industry. Um, the last two jobs that I've held have been working, uh, representing the interests of two uh, California families, and I represent their interests in the Northeast, so I travel quite a bit for my current position. As I said, I'm looking to uh, lessen that. I have things for you, Stephen, that you asked me to bring along, copies of um, the notice that I sent out to the neighbors, a map of the that I got from the city hall, and uh, the application that's been submitted. all I have for you folks. I'm, I'm I, have, I, have, I have a quick question. I hope that you do. Um, you said they're thinking about doing 9 p.m. Is that something you can confirm tonight? So when we vote, <coughs> we can send a letter to the licensing board saying that we support bottles. From right now it says I'm going to keep the, the application states that it's time. Okay. So That's it's fine. just something that I, being in the neighborhood, you know, seeing who's out buying alcohol at 9.30, quarter to 10, it's just not really... I just don't think that that extra hour is going to do anything but the detriment to what I'm trying to do there. And also, as I said, I'll be pretty much the full-time guy there. So, when yeah, you open? hour of sleep. Sure. When, when are you open? Uh, 11. Yeah. 12 on Sundays. Are you, you going to change the name? It was my intention to change the name, uh, but no, I'm not. I'm actually going to leave everything the same. Nice sign, nice yeah. nice I, I do think, you know, looking at the, the, the facade, I think that it needs some something to, to no draw. Neon. No neon. <laughs> no neon. But I, I don't know, flowers, I, something that needs to, I don't know, it just kind are of. You the business already, are you purchasing the business already? I am in the process of it right now, yes. And this is <coughs> part of the process um, to stand before you. I met with. Uh, David Kubiak's group uh, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, so yes, this is part of the process. You purchasing the building or the license? It's just the, the, the existing business. Um, the lease that, that comes with that comes with. I'm sorry. You're buying the lease on the license. Oh. Yes. <coughs> yes. I'm actually uh, starting a whole new lease with the, the landlord, and that's I've been in contact with her. And I've negotiated a lease that's pending approval of everything else. How long the lease? Uh, it's going to be, the first sign will be one year at a very special reduced rate that I can register to do for me. And then I have, uh, it's basically a total of 10 years, about three, three year extensions. Was the business like up for sale or something? That, like, you know, typical of this neighborhood, it was just kind of walking on the street and I ran into the current owner and I said, hey, how you doing? And five months later, here I am. How many employees are there now, do you know? There is one full-time employee there right now, a lovely young lady. Um, I'd like to keep her on for part-time. She's really just a, a very um, energetic, enthusiastic, lovely young lady. And I believe there's two other part-time employees. Um, I think everybody's of age. I think they're 
they're on the young side, uh, you know, nice kids, but um, for what I want to do and what I want to bring to that area, I, I think that someone like myself would, would benefit the, the business. Anyone else have any questions? You plan on hosting like you know, yes. events and things like that? Well, not, not in that space because I think it's about the size of this table. It's a little hard to do. Um, but you know, there's a lot of um, community activities ha that I get involved in that are related to my business. So I, I plan on, um, you know, someone was mentioned that uh, Sarasi is, is hosting the uh, fundraiser for uh, down at um, Antigo Forno, things like that. I want to, again, be more part of the community that I live in. And yes, to answer your question, I hope to do a lot of those types of events that will, you know, benefit the community as well. Antonio talking about how awesome it was when we were little. It was a luncheonette and had really banged up breakfast in there, but Remember? Yeah, great question. Sorry. I guess you don't want me to cook breakfast. Yeah. Across the street from this, so I'm, I'm looking yeah. forward to oh, good, good. doing a little yeah, bit good. of an upgrade and yeah. some wine. I can recommend <laughs> a nice bread, but you don't want me scrambling eggs for it. That's a big American kind of breakfast. Um, Did you have a question? Brickens, the champ, get the answer. No, me. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Anyone have any questions? Anyone want to make a motion? I might as well. I'll make, I'll make a motion to support um, Bartles, uh, uh, David O'Connor, the same hours, the same sign, it's at the end of the beginning, same hours, same um, name, no change in the exterior, and um, 372 conditions. Well, there's a motion, anyone second a motion? Motion second, so there's a uh, motion on the floor has been seconded to approve uh, the transfer of the existing beer and wine retail license operated at 372 Commercial Street from uh, current owner to Dan O'Connor. All in favor? Touchdown. Seven nothing. Six to nothing. <laughs> six? Why six? I thought it was seven. No point. Touchdown is a six. Oh, right to the point. Thank you folks for your time and having me here tonight. I appreciate it. And last but not least, uh, 50 Snow Hill. I always say your last name. It's Tirson. Tirson. David Tirson. So you need to alter existing headhouse at 50 Snow Hill. And I'm William Picard, the contractor. That's yeah. the letter. So my name is David Tirson. Uh, I'm going over 50 Snow Hill. And I'm here looking to alter the existing uh, headhouse uh, so that I can get up to the roof without hitting my head, really. Uh, it's pretty much the, the goal. Uh, we're looking to alter the head house length. Uh, in no way are we altering the height. Uh, and uh, Bill here, William Picardi, thanks Tony, uh, has, is my contractor. We've been renovating the existing building for close to a year and a half or so. Uh, purchased it in July of 2010. And uh, hopefully we'll be done Soon, Soon. <laughs> so I can get in, and my neighbors here are nice enough to, to come along. Um, so, if you, really, if you have any questions, I really defer to, to Bill because he has. If you look at the plans, there is an existing head house on the property. Um, it's uh, probably original to the property, it's probably finished with the inside of it. Since we've gutted the inside completely and we did the staircase to code, the staircase going up to the top of the head house now is longer than the other one. They were all short by stairs. Um, so there's low headroom where we cross over the head house. We have two proposals. Um, the building department requires that any alteration to any roof structure in height or size it has to be Board of Appeals and go to the neighborhood councils. So the first proposal would be to make the head house extended to match the head house next door to it. Um, keep the existing size on the other side. Um, it's now covered with rubber roofing material just to the stopgap matter that was done. We would do it with siding similar to the house on the left of us um, just to make it more attractive um, and put a new doorway in it. Uh, <clears throat> we'd only increase the head height by six inches the height of the building so we don't have enough room. It's only two by four roof right now, which doesn't give us adequate insulation. Um, but we would leave all the existing walls and insulate those. And the second alternative was to put a, uh, a shed roof on it just to clear the head, headroom and not exceed the height 
extend the height at all, just extend the full footprint of it. Um, either way, we accomplish what we need to do with it. Um, it's just a question of whether it's more appealing or not. But we wouldn't be increasing it any larger than the one next to us. We'd just be lining it up with it. And there's an existing brick wall, firewall there now that we'd be continuing to cover over. What are the dimensions now? Um, we're adding three feet by four feet. You're adding three feet by four feet. Right. So it's wide feet? Nope. It's it's just feet. making it match up to the front of that, but the width is more than adequate. It's just the length of it. So any impact on any other than neighbors are going to be not, really nothing next door? Um, so far, they've come by and they have no concerns with it. I'm 48 Snow Hill Street, and she's 49, and we're happy to have David in our office. You're happy street. somebody's fixing the bill? And yes. We're happy to have him. Okay. Excellent. Very good. No, David. Was. The one, it, it was a I'm healthy. It was a two-family. Um, took six months to convert it to back to one family of a long form, um, and so it's a one family now. Each floor is an individual floor with two bedrooms on the second floor, third floor. So all they did is completely cut the inside, new floor drapes, and everything. And you have to, we have to upgrade the uh, stairway to cold. Much larger. Once you touch the old staircase, which was useless, I have to upgrade the cold. That was good. Unless you're going to refurbish it. And then they don't let you change the headhouse once you change the stairway? Like well, again, the, the zoning code says that any alteration of any kind to the roof, even if we use that shed roof, because we're altering the outside of the roof, it has to go between the, uh, which is fair, it should go among the, you know, the community operations, which I think there's two, two boards we have to say mm -hmm. before they'll, Take it to one of the fields. Mm -hmm. so. And what, which which one of the two plans do you prefer? You prefer to get the insulation on top? Or yeah, the, 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 the yeah. square the square it off would be more in keeping with everything around there. Yeah. Um, and do you have a choice? Or does the city have a choice? Um, I think it's more of a, if the, if it was approved by the neighborhoods, um, they would approve it. So you're looking for approval on one of the two options. Right. Okay. Do you understand that one? Any questions? Are you I will be living in the building once it's once I have the occupancy permit. Now. I'm glad to get in there. Yeah. <coughs> so, and if you were looking for a motion to pull one of them, you'd be you'd be your preference would be number one. Yeah, right. Yeah, first okay. one. Oh, okay. Just to line it up with the other building, just extend it. And then we covered with siding material like the neighborhood, but so it wouldn't have that rubber roofing on it. Okay. And it makes no difference to the buyer's point. Yeah. Would you like us to vote on both options? So you have approval for both yeah, options? It, it, I can't imagine there's any problem with the zoning board, but that's I fine. Think, I, I don't think it will be either. But yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Let's re-ask the question. Have, have you gone to the zoning board? Do you, you, you propose both plans? No, we, we, we proposed the first one. Um, and they rejected it. Then we came up with the second one saying that we're not going to make it any taller until we get it passed. And that they, they came up with any alteration to the roof of any kind. Okay, so let's, let's, let's go for the first one only. And that way you show up. Yeah, they did. So you need to walk the ball because the people can That's fine. Yeah. Obviously, you're here to support. There's Absolutely. two of us right here. So does anyone else? a great neighborhood for working. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. It really does. Anyone uh, have any other questions before we take a motion? Anyone motion? Victor, yeah. Victor has a question. Sure. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the head house uh, option would permit access to a roof deck. Yeah. Uh, we're not paying out, it permit access is, to the roof. We have access to the roof now. Whereas the other one would not. No. No, they're, they're both access that would be legal assets going into the staircase. When we go up the staircase now, you hit your head on the the beams that had the floor off here. Um, extend out, we still have access to the roof. Oh, I'm sorry, you didn't see this. So. The changes to that, the, the, st the staircase on the top the floor, mm -hmm. right now, you, you hit your head the stairs, you on the you head in there, but you get by it. I mean, so I mean, so when, you, when you do the improvements, they have to give yeah, the, the risers the right amount, amount of height. And, but by doing so, you naturally lower the head as a result you're hitting your head. Basically, right Nevertheless, Victor, I don't know if you heard before, but it's a single family home. Yes, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it, if there was a roof deck, eventually it would be a private roof deck. It wouldn't be anybody That would be, be next year at the earliest, but yeah. we're not, that's not paying for now. We just want to finish the inside so we can keep it clean and go. Yeah, as I mentioned to, to my neighbors and some other neighbors, that I really want to 
actually get into the into the building and into the community before I start proposing. Yeah. 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 For future reference, uh, you might save yourself some time if you ask for everything at once. You might have been better off <laughs> saving yourself a mission, you know what I mean, and just get it all that one. But uh, are we, does anybody else want to go ahead and speak? Uh, Any more questions? Uh, hearing date, do you have one yet before the Board of Appeal? No, because I, I understood, and I could be wrong, that I had to go to these hearings first and then go to the... Have you filed the appeal? We haven't made up, we haven't filed it yet. I thought I had to get this stuff out of the way first, but I'm not sure. Maybe I misunderstood what they said to us. The height of the building? The height of the building? Now? Um, Four, it's four stories because we get hit by the sprinkler system on the three stories. So it's four stories, and the height of the headhouse is um, six foot six off the roof deck right now. It's got a six foot doorway going out. Anyone else with any questions? Anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to. Uh, Approve the, um, I guess the improvements to the existing headhouse generally of 50 Stone Alive per street, but more specifically the option A that's presented before the board. Thank you. Anyone want to second the motion? I'll second it. So we have a motion to uh, to support it's been second to uh, alter the existing headhouse. Um, We'll just call it option A. When I write a letter, I can send okay. that, a copy yep. of that. But okay. Correct. To the zoning board. I work in the building, so I walk the letters okay. out, just so you know. Great. Um, all in favor? Thank you very much. Right. Just so you know, Tony recused herself because she sold the building to Dave, so that's why it's on the Okay? <laughs>